All right, guys, this video is about the proper settings on how to deal with things like audio and AV1 in DaVinci's Resolve from OBS. Now, to do this, we're going to be using my OBS while we're recording because, well, you know, I am kind of needing to get this done. So uh, here we go. So in your settings, you'll notice you have an output, and most of the time, this will just be one change this to advanced go to your recording and actually we're probably going to need to open up another obs to get this done i just realized that because this one does not want to play well all right there we go so again output change this from simple to advanced head into recording the one thing universally that davinci's resolve understands is pcm audio okay so if i head into audio linear pcms right there so that makes it so that we can you know have really high grade audio that sounds really good and because aac just doesn't work a lac doesn't work opus doesn't work you're you can literally just set one of these three we're on here at the moment because my amp and dac i realized does 32-bit float without a problem so why not right and also AV1 on NVIDIA. The only way that you can get this is by compiling OBS Studio Git version. And because those features haven't been released in a main build, but that will probably be coming in OBS 31. So I'm looking forward to that. And if it doesn't get released in there, I'm going to be super pissed, like really angry. No, I'm not. I don't really put anything towards it. Now, <clears throat> me... I tend to overdo it 25k bit rate for 1440p slowest best quality because it really does not affect much okay and you know audio track one and two you can add more tracks and add certain things to those tracks i'm not really sure how you know but you can do it like through a virtual input through linux i'm not going to go through setting that up but audio i have it set to 320 that way we have the best you know audio available that obs can do uh but there is a way to do lossless i'm about to get really really advanced on you okay see how it says standard we can set this to custom but this takes away your ability to pause during a video so if i go to default format we just zip through we want muskoka and it's right there or mustroka i don't know it's mkv i'm just gonna call it mkv we're gonna set this back to 25k bit rate uh keyframes gonna leave it as it is video encoder here's the cool part look what's in here it's av1 uh audio bit rate we can literally set the audio bit rate now so if i wanted to i could set this to 6000 oh it's not gonna let me go 6000 all right well let's try it this way yeah it won't let me set it 6000 but it lets me set it 6000 tell me if that makes any sense oh 4906 okay and then we select that one in the audio encoder uh, we can go for PCM audio LE, not BE. If you have a BE, that's good. I have an LE. Uh, so there's 32 and there's, we're going to go for 24 here now. So this is pretty much the exact same settings. Okay. Which is really useful. And we can definitely bring this in to OBS, which is really nice. So if I hit apply and I start recording while we're recording uh we're gonna open up a few things just like this we're gonna go to cut edit open things up again i'm just drag it in we're gonna delete this whole thing because i already rendered the video out and it's already uploaded for you guys because you know i work like that so here's the clip <clears throat> as you can see it goes in it has audio open up a few things just like this we're gonna go to cut edit like right there see it works and that's what most important like trying to figure this out is really kind of difficult this only works on the studio version but i think pcm audio also should work with all hope and hell on the free version as for mkv i think that's also a studio only version thing but this video is about studio so I need you to realize that, okay? So there you are, raw 24-bit PCM audio, AV1, 1440p, uh, MKV, it's all there, okay? Now, 
in a nutshell this should help you with your workflow on linux honestly it's been really super great if i go to deliver and if i go to video you can see i'm, I'm i choose mkv again av1 and nvidia nvidia just pumps out those frames it can get this thing rendered almost instantly where if you use cpu for transcoding or any type of encoding it's going to take up to 20 minutes or so no matter what kind of cpu you have even if it's a blazing fast one it's not going to be as fast as a gpu and these days when it comes to nvank and cuda the gpu puts out just as good quality as it did with cpu back in the day so don't waste your time using the cpu to render things out use the gpu it's just faster calculations another thing is i have this set to custom for 1440p because that way i can you know uh if you're having it set to 1080p it's gonna have to down sample that from your 1440p footage and that takes extra time but if you're literally putting 1440p to 1440p there's no downgrade in time anyway i hope this helps if it did let me know don't forget to subscribe to like this video to share it if you have another person use davinci's resolve on linux and i will see you guys next time bye everybody